Holy shit. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's so cool. So I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I, feel like I can hear the class laughing at me now. Sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <coughs> the point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style, like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right the now. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? You can find out all about them in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, Victoria. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so I see the dilemma. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to... Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Hi, Kate. Yeah, oh. No matter who wins. Hi, Max. This is just a bump on a bigger road. 
I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know- Katie, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Let's talk later, Max. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just you always Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special I'm picture. I'm not paying $150 because Max wants everybody to see how she is. She plays it so shiny. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera.
looks like she's been gone for months. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. To all of you American girls in the movies No one can tell where your heart is American girls like Dolly Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then 